Galnet News Digest, 12th of July 3304. We read the news so you don't have to. In this week's news, Alliance top brass in the clink. Holy War hops up. Explorers see poll ratings drop. Alliance top brass in the clink. Admiral George Varma, one of the most senior of the Alliance Council of Admirals, has been arrested on suspicion of being the evil mastermind behind the League of Reparation. Alliance Interpol has been searching for the mysterious nexus that runs the League and which appears to be attempting to murder the descendants of former members of the Intergalactic Naval Reserve Arm, also known as INRA. It's also alleged that he was diverting military weapon shipments to the League. Prime Minister Mahan is reported to be shocked by the allegation, but is said that there is clear evidence implicating Varma in the League's evil actions. In a slightly mealy-mouthed statement, he said he hoped the trial would be fair. News of the Admiral's criminal activity is particularly unexpected, as it was Varma who sponsored the promotion of Riri McAllister to replace Fleet Admiral Telemag Bakanan, who was murdered by the League. McAllister vowed to hunt down and destroy the League terrorists. Since then, there have been substantial victories against the League of Reparation, with several assassins detained. Following the murder of Chief Inspector K. Kilbride at the end of June, apparently in retribution for these successes, a mysterious Deputy Inspector Clatt was appointed. Clatt has consistently refused to appear in public, prompting speculation that she may in fact be an undercover INRA operative. Clatt is an unusual name, but there's an INRA base in Alnath called Clatt Enterprise which may indicate that the Deputy Inspector is a direct descendant of a senior INRA commander. There's also the mystery of the missing artificial intelligence artwork from a gallery in Alioth. Could it have been repurposed as an undercover sleuth? Could it be masterminding the hunt for the League of Reparation? The plot thickens. Holy War hops up. Amidst the rash of apocalyptic cults that have sprung up since the return of the Thargoids, one stands out for special condemnation, and the Voidoids are the ones leading the charge. There are plenty of suicide cults ready to lock themselves up in a remote outpost and commit mass suicide rather than suffer defeat at the tentacles of the Thargoids. Let's all kill ourselves. That'll show them. Members of the Order of Extinction, Nova Imperium and Homo Terminus all want to die in this way rather than suffer a probing from Tharg the Mighty. They are harmless cults and in many ways a problem that will solve itself, given time. But the Far God cult is different. These cowl-wearing worshippers of green goo allege that they can survive the Thargoid invasion, and that a deity called the Far God will come and rescue them and destroy the rest of humanity. But the truth is far more sinister. Cardinal Hieronymus of the Church of Eternal Void has revealed that these Thargoid worshippers are in fact zombie-like puppets of the Thargoids, sent to spy on humanity's defences and has called on local populations to grab their space pitchforks and space flaming torches and to drive the Fargodians out of town. Citizens have welcomed this intervention by the Voidoids, a sect which worships the ancient Guardians, and believes that faith in the Guardians will drive the Thargoids away. It's a natural extension of these beliefs to attempt to drive out those who venerate the Thargoids, confronting them on the streets and smashing the windows of their creepy chapels. The galaxy will be a better place once the Thargoids and the Thargoid sympathisers have been eliminated. Explorers see poll ratings drop.
explorers have long been the powerhouses behind many an election victory. Their boyish good looks, their tales of daring and adventure, and most of all their willingness to sell their exploration data one system at a time, has been able to capture the voting public's imagination like nothing else. Political parties in need of a boost in their poll ratings needed only to persuade Deep Space Explorer to turn up in the system with a memory stick addressed to Universal Cartographics, and victory was in the bag. Well, no more. The galactic authorities have heeded the cries of foul from opposing political parties and have ruled that selling exploration data system by system should now offer barely any advantage over selling data by the page. Explorers are said to be up in arms about what they see as their disenfranchisement. The reality is that they're all fat blokes in their underpants, with a personal hygiene problem, long beards and toenails like craft cheese slices. And now they'll get all the attention they deserve. And that's this week's Galnet News. Galnet News. We read the news so you don't have to.